I seem to have fallen off the vlogging path once again. But I'm gonna update you guys on the huge life transition that's been taking place. And I really haven't had time to like flip out a camera. Like I'm just, I'm just doing the do. So let me catch you up to where we left off. That would be like uh, the last week or so of October. And I even wrote a list to like remind myself of everything that happened. So the weekend of October 26th, the kids and I flew up to Seattle so we could drive to Granite Falls to take care of some things at the house. The biggest project was a window treatment installation. You know, so when we finally arrive at the house, we can like take showers with, without everyone seeing our junk because every bathroom has a window near a shower. So that was essential to get done. So we made the trip up, we stayed all weekend, flew up on a Friday, left on a Sunday, then we were back to work and school on Monday. Of course, Halloween happened, very important holiday for the kids. And ever since we lived in San Diego and I've worked on Coronado, I've always wanted to have the kids trick or treat in Coronado. And that was like eight plus years. Well, this year we finally did it since we were living the past couple months on Coronado. The kids had a blast. It was great trick or treating. Um, actually, Alec got so tired because his bag was so heavy that he repeatedly asked to go home and his feet hurt and his bag was too heavy. So it was a good time and the kids loved it. And we still have tons of candy left over that made the trip to Granite Falls with us. Halloween, the day that we had been counting down for, November 2nd, it was our last day at work, last day at school, and my Auntie Cindy flew into San Diego. So um, that was a big deal. Bella took Krispy Kreme donuts to her class so they could celebrate and send her off appropriately. It is zero days until the last day of school. Yes. Alec. Woo! It's time to wake up. Alec. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up, boo. It's the last day of school. Wake up. It's the last day of school. <coughs> it's your last day. Oh, what's that? You got a coffee cough? You ready to wake up? You ready to say bye to all your teachers and friends? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get going. <laughs> let's get going, buddy. We got it's the last day of school, y'all. Are you excited? I don't know. At least I get donuts. That's the only thing I'm really excited about. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. Donuts are delicious. Yeah. New podcast. You should take a listen. It's really good. No, 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 no. Okay, Bella, you got your donuts? Stop. This is weird. Your last day of school donuts? This is weird. Stop.
Why is it weird? It's just You're us. Yelling, though. No one can hear us. This guy with the big creepy dog. Oh shoot! Can hear us. It's a big old dog. He's gonna come and eat me. Mm, well, why don't you wait for him to walk by? All right, get your donuts and get on out. Yeah, get on out this car. Bye, Bella. We love you. Love you. Bye. 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 How you like that donut? Last day of school donut. So my aunt Cindy flew in from Virginia to help me with the transition or the drive from San Diego to Granite Falls. It took about three days. We had two cars two kids and a dog. So her help was essential because Paul could not help. He was underway or getting ready to get underway. And he's actually underway right now. So um, we drove three days. We went from San Diego to Monterey, California, then from Monterey, California to Eugene, Oregon, and then from Eugene, Oregon to Granite Falls via Longview, Washington. So Bella could see um, the squirrel bridges called the Nutty Narrows and it's a little town that made a bridge between trees over a street for squirrels so they wouldn't get hit by cars. So that was fun. And the drive was really easy and we just missed those huge fires that were happening. Like we left right in the nick of time because it was like that same weekend everything or that same week that everything started happening with the fires that's why i wanted to leave california you guys like it's always on fire it's so scary so scary so after november 2nd as a way to like say thank you to my auntie we took her to disneyland on november 3rd and we stayed overnight it was her first time ever to disneyland and i hope she had a blast we stayed at the paradise pier it was the first time we stayed at that hotel. Usually we stay at uh, just Disneyland Resort, but we've also stayed at Grand California Hotel. But Paradise, Pil P Paradise Pier was awesome. And it was it's right beside Disneyland Resort, or is it called Disneyland Hotel? I think it's Disneyland Hotel, where it's at the end of Downtown Disney and you just walk through Downtown Disney to get to the parks. It looked great. We had fun. We rode some things that we have never ridden before and all the times that we went to Disneyland, like Dumbo, because the line is so long, but we had one hour early admission because we were staying at one of their hotels and we got to ride it. How cool is that? After the Disneyland weekend, we started the drive. It was November 5th through the 7th. And then Cindy really helped me a lot. Um, we had the moving company scheduled to come pick up all the like household good packing material. So we had to like power through unpacking the boxes and breaking them down and smooshing the paper into other boxes so it'll be easy for them to pick up. Uh, so that was a big accomplishment and, and I'm so glad that it happened and she was here to help me out with it. I don't know if I would have been able to do that all by myself with the kids running around crazy. But they came and they picked it up and now like, I just have to put things in their place or in their general area and we can start organizing the house. We did have two household goods moves, one for Paul and one for me. So there's still a lot of things in the garage that were part of my household good move that are still packed. But the majority of our household good stuff, like furniture and uh, kitchen stuff and clothing and beds and stuff. That's all taken care of. So you guys, I got cut off. Right now we are on our way to Seattle for a wow in the world pop-up party. Wow in the world is a kid's podcast where you learn all types of cool things and it's really fun. But I did get cut off and where I got cut off was the kids. So the kids 
uh, all last week started their new schools and uh, that went very well. I took Bella to and from school, but next week she's gonna start riding the bus to and from school. We're just gonna give it a whirl and see how it goes. Miss Independent Lady Bella. And then also all last week, Bella had her ballet assessments. We checked out four different studios and we finally picked the one. And uh, it looks very promising and they have a nutcracker and we're just gonna go with that. And it's very important for Bella to uh, maintain her ballet. Not only because we put in a lot of money, we put in a lot of time, we put in a lot of effort, put in eight years, but it's a stable foundation for her. Uh, a lot is going on right now, and it's weird, and it could get weird. Er. So ballet is a good foundation that she can always rely on if things get weird. It's like a solid thing, um, and it's important that she keeps that up. So that's what we're doing, and we're on our way to Seattle, and we'll try to take you along. I don't know. I gotta get used to this vlogging thing making an active acknowledgement that I need to get my camera out when we're doing things. Sometimes it's inconvenient and I forget, but I'm going to try and we're going to get back on a regular weekly schedule with the vlogs so Paul can see what's going on while he's underway. Can you tell us where we're at? We're at Wild in the World. A pop-up party? Yes. Are you excited to see Mindy and Guy Ross? Yes, yes. And Guy Ross. Right there. Is that Guy Ross? Yeah. Up on that sign? Yeah. That's Guy Ross. He's missing. I hope he makes it to the party. By the way, the words awesome in Story Pirates. Mm hmm. Here's our pop up party setup. Corners of the stage. It's the Wow in the World Pop Up Party! just made it home so we're just getting ready our bedtime routine tomorrow's a chill day next week you guys it's Thanksgiving so that's all for now you're all caught up you're all updated so we'll see you next week thanks for stopping by and we love and miss you all bye <laughs>